Concorde had performed its usual magic, arriving an hour on the clock before its scheduled departure time in London. On board, someone all New York was waiting for. And waiting in uptown Manhattan, a crowd already numbering several hundred strong as the sirens announced the approach of the motorcade. It's her first visit to New York. The first solo visit to America. And in a city which has its dark side, the police SWAT team were strutting their stuff, machine guns at the ready. But the natives seemed friendly enough. I thought she looked nice. She looked really thin. They're calling it dye mania with shops decorated in British fashion, T-shirts for sale, even the now obligatory look-alike competition. She was spared this. The winner was just a little more lifelike than the two shop window dummies which brought Charles and Diana to Fifth Avenue. There is very much of a business slant to the trip. The princess had gone straight from the airport to help sell British products, promoting British fashion and making her own fashion statement in a royal blue number by British designer Catherine Walker. The organizers could only hope that the guests would look away from the princess long enough to take in the display of British cashmere. You couldn't ignore the fact that the princess was in town. Even Mr. Gorbachev didn't draw crowds this large and certainly not this enthusiastic. Yes, she was coming their way. The princess working the crowd on Fifth Avenue. They were almost throwing flowers. At FAO Schwartz, the Harrods of American toy shops, Popeye and Olive Oil were waving the flag as the princess arrived to give a boost to British-made bears, toy trains and the rest. This brief royal visit, just 40 hours, is taking in parts of the city that most New Yorkers never see. They don't often see real-life royalty on New York's Lower East Side, where this morning the Princess of Wales toured a centre for poor people which provides daycare and youth programmes and a shelter for homeless children. Even if they weren't quite sure what a princess was or why she was visiting them, the smaller New Yorkers seemed just as impressed as the adults here. The centre is an island where children can escape the frightening world of drugs and violence that's often found outside. But outside today, only an enthusiastic crowd delighted to see the princess, also delighted that their usually grimy neighborhood had been given an unexpected spring clean by the city government. They were rewarded with a walkabout. Henry's News at 10, New York.